the 5,000 metre final. Brendan Foster, the favourite for Great Britain. And they've gone up very quickly and Foster is the man to make his mark straight away. Wants to get his position early. And Foster, remember, is an athlete who usually likes to attack in the middle of the race. But it's Foster in front at the moment. In second place is Penn Carver. And third, number 29, Paul Eunice. Paul Eunice of uh, Belgium with on the curb the blonde Czech Hoffman. So as they come down the straight for the first time, facing the 12 laps to go marker, Foster leads for Great Britain. Second place is Penn Carver. Third is Hoffman. Fourth is Paul Eunice. Fifth is Florio of Romania. Sixth is Vet of, East, of Yugoslavia. Seven is the Dutchman, Hermans. Britain in front. Czechoslovakia second. Belgium third. Czechoslovakia fourth. Romania five. Then Yugoslavia. Then Holland. Then East Germany. Then West Germany. And the Norwegians at the moment towards the back, as are the Finns. Three metres in front of the chasing gold medalist from East Germany, Cushman. 3,000 metre time, a fraction, uh, it's 8 minutes, 1.24, so it's very, very fast. Foster's uh, world record, set in Gateshead, was 7.35, and he's now breaking the Olympic champion. Foster has got away, and very interesting now, we'll know in a moment what his 400 metre run, last 400 metre run was, because he's really blazed it. Viren is broken, and that was a 60-second lap. And Viren, the man who dominated distance running, middle distance running at the Olympic Games from Finland, has fallen apart. He's now 20 to 25 metres, and the third man is about 50 metres behind Foster. Can Foster live with the standard he set himself? Well, he's got just over four laps to go. And as he comes up underneath us, look for him in another 200 metres and look for the white towers in the background, reminiscent of the great Herb Elliott. Because he's away from the gold medal. He looks up at the time, that's how well he's feeling, and the time showed at the bell, 12 minutes, 15 seconds. A big electric clock showing there, and for Foster now, it's only the time to see Quartz, and he's sprinting. Mirren leading the chasers, but there's no one else in the race really now but Brendan Foster. As the pace increases, he looks to see what's happening, and he's still leaving them. Foster with only himself to run against. The rest now battling for the minor places, and they are sprinting as Foster goes into the bend, and they are now not halfway down the back straight. They're closing with the sprint finish. It's Kutschman of East Germany leading the sprinters. Mirren is third, but there's no way the East German gold medalist in the 10,000 metres can catch the Briton, Brendan Foster, who now is 80 metres away from glory and the European Championship. Foster, the man who has led from gun to tape. Foster, the man now who comes home in 13 minutes, 16, 17. Foster, the gold medal for Britain. Cushman with the bronze for East Germany. Viren, the, uh, the silver for East Germany. Viren for Finland in third place. Herman for Holland fourth. But that was devastating. Aggressive, full of self-belief. He took them on from the start, showed he was absolutely right, and showed, too, that you've got enough class. The heat and the humidity make little difference. Really beyond description. The pictures said it all. The commitment started with the gun. The gap that he wanted in the middle of the race came when he wanted it. The strong men didn't become chasers, they became survivors. And they across to meet the crowd that have been there and showed too that you've got enough class, the heat and the humidity make little difference. For Foster then, the gold medal in the 5,000 metres. Brendan Foster, Gateshead Harriers, the time 13 minutes, 17.2, a championship best performance.